When Silver Collection was founded, it was created to bring the collections of the world online, to bring to life a place for visitors to explore and research the vast scientific information that exists from around this diverse world, but most of all, to create an enjoyable experience. We first released Silver Collection in 2008, and it has continued to evolve from the feedback of collection managers, users, and researchers. With over 50 different features and a growing community of museum collections, we are unlocking the world's history one collection at a time. Whether you're an ecologist, biologist, taxonomist, full-time researcher, collection manager, or just an interested citizen scientist, Silver Collection is a great tool to explore our life on Earth. We have built many practical tools for viewing beautiful images, searching for your favorite species, mapping, or just learning about a specific area. Even if a computer is unavailable or you're out in the field, the Silver Collection mobile app is available too. Explore the same great features on your Apple or Android device, no matter where you are. And if you're more comfortable with your GPS device, we have tools for that too. So if you're a collection manager, museum director, are looking to bring together a state or national portal online with one or more different collections, it has never been easier. We work with you to help unlock your data, images, and collection to share our world's history. The process is simple and affordable for small and large collections. Even if English is not your primary language, don't worry. Silver Collection can be used in French, Spanish, Dutch, and many more languages coming soon. So let's take a few minutes to explore in more detail some of the major features of the software and see why it's one of the favorites for so many collections. Silver Collection is a wonderful tool to just browse a collection or to really dig deeper in the species and geographical regions. One of the most popular features is the Browse Collections section of the software. Each installation is customized to provide the visitors with the most relevant information. Our taxonomic features allow users to discover the biggest parts of your collection easily. Each taxon can be selected at any time to view the occurrence records. Great for those that wish to see the individual occurrence records at a glance. And if geography is important to the collection, then there are ways to explore the collection from geographical regions as well. Silver Collection also supports viewing type records. For those who know more about the topic of research, they can dive right into the search features. These search choices are configured to meet the needs based on the collection information. With auto-completing, pick lists, and helpful date pickers, we make it easy for users to find the information they need. With real-time results, we help decrease the time spent searching to provide more time looking at species. Column information can be turned on and off and customized when the portal is first created. Users also have the ability to sort the information by most fields and then visually group results for easier identification. Results can be continually adjusted to refine the information for just the right records. Those records can be downloaded in various formats for spreadsheets, GPS devices, or Google Maps. Now that the visitor has found those results of interest, let's switch to the mapping features to visually explore the locations of these dynamic results. Our mapping interface uses CartoDB, an online cloud mapping service that provides beautiful real-time results from any search query. With Silver Collection, we provide point maps, grid, and hex maps, along with a variety of geographical map levels. Our maps are based on occurrence density of the search results, but it also has the ability to look at the diversity based on variety of choices like family, genus, type status. There is interactive feedback for bouncing over any section of the map, and each point is linked to the actual occurrence record when clicked. The reporting features built in the Silver Collection offer a variety of ways to visualize the occurrence data. All results are generated from the user's browse and search criteria.
Users will be able to see year by year the quantity of records collected as well as the growth over time. Silver Collection also provides a monthly distribution by decade as well as normalized view from the entire date range. Also included are pie charts for taxonomic and geographic information. The checklist features are dynamically driven lists created by geographical data provided by the collection database. This information is organized to show a hierarchical list to allow visitors to generate a species checklist from any given location. This list contains a number of occurrence records currently in the collection. The list of results can easily be sorted with the ability to quickly link to third-party websites with a single click. The Regional Biodiversity section is the same checklist but presented as a species matrix showing which species exist in any given location. The matrix can compare up to 20 different locations and can be downloaded for your next field expedition. Images are an integral part of Silver Collection. We start with the ability to filter from all images down to a family, genus, or species. Once a choice is made from the list, the images are instantly loaded based on the new selection. If metadata is provided with the images, users can use those choices as an interactive key to reduce the remaining list to the exact type of image. Images can be viewed in different layouts and are linked to the associated occurrence record if a global unique identifier is provided. Images can be added from a Darwin Core Archive, Biodiversity Image Server, or a simple script written specifically for your needs. One of the last major features we will cover is the occurrence record. They can be accessed from a variety of locations and are added to the tab system to allow for multiple records to be opened at once. An occurrence record will contain the record information based on the Darwin Core format as well as any additional information like specimen images, a geographical map, optional supplementary images from Flickr, and finally an annotation system to allow users to submit their comments to the collection manager. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation of Silver Collection, and if you would like to learn more, please contact us or visit us online at www.silverbiology.com. Thank you.